Good morning, 724 at News Talk 99.7 WNTK, News Talk 98.9, 1490 WUVR. And we're live online at WNTK.com. 19 in New London, 24 Claremont, 23 in Newport, 25 in Lebanon. And if I could read that thermometer outside of Dr. Sam's eye care, I probably wouldn't need his help on Dunning Street in Claremont. Dr. Sam, good morning. Welcome back. Good morning, John. Always great to see you. Now, you know, we started talking with Dr. Sam, who's uh, an extended member of our morning family, and he'll be joining us every couple of weeks here on WNTK because... You know, eye care, as you know, my mom always says, you only got one pair of eyes. How many times did you hear that from your mom, Dr. Sam? And it's the truth. I, I think we all heard that. Yeah, we all heard. <laughs> and, and it's absolutely true. And, uh, you know, what we started talking about with Dr. Sam the other day is, uh, you know, if you're in your 30s and your 40s, and we always joke that, you know, my arms are getting shorter, you got to like play the trombone. Is there an actual medical term to when we start having changes in our vision if we get nearsighted, farsighted? Well, th- there is, John. We call it presbyopia. Presbyopia. Uh, kind of a big mouthful. Okay, there you go. I, I would love to, if I get Scrabble for Christmas, I'm going to try to play Presbyopia. That would be a great word. Can you imagine how many points everybody else would have to fold? I'd win right there. Get that across two triple word scores. Oh, my God. Good shape, right? <laughs> so Presbyopia, and, 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 and really, you know, what is that? That's a sign of age, number one. And, and, and just describe what Presbyopia is. Right. Um, Presbyopia is what happens when the lens inside the eye becomes less flexible over time so that you can't change your focus from distance to near and near to distance the way you used to be able to. Mm -hmm. It's uh, unfortunately uh, just like death and taxes. It, it just it, it just it happens of, to everybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Dr. Sam from Dr. Sam's Eye Care. So, uh, a, a simple uh, prescription, uh, either with contacts or eyeglasses, will take care of that. Correct. Uh, generally, yes. A prescription will definitely do it. A lot of times people just use over-the-counter reading glasses from the drugstore. That works well for lots of people, too. And there are other methods of dealing with it that are more exotic and, and certainly not more effective, though. Uh, glasses are a, a very good solution. How do I know if those drugstore glasses are good for me? They just, you know, I saw them. Um, I was in the drugstore getting a prescription, and uh, you know, they're right next to the pharmacy area. And mm-hmm. uh, you look at them; they just look like big magnifying glasses. Well, uh, they are magnifying glasses, also. They're if you, uh, you know, held up the lens to the sun, and you could uh, focus the image on the sidewalk, just like a magnifying glass. Okay. Uh, but they they also accomplished the the uh, goal of bringing images closer and bringing them if they're closer into nice focus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you're if you never had glasses before, they're often very useful. Uh, people who have had to wear glasses for other conditions will usually end up in another type of lens at that point, something that's a prescription lens. But people who never had to wear uh, glasses before for any other reason and they just have trouble up close often do great with just over-the-counter reading glasses. So, Dr. Sam, I come into your office on Dunning Street right behind Valley Regional Hospital, and I say, you know, I'm playing this trombone. It's, you know, I used to be, you know, I used to see everything fine. Now I'm nearsighted. Now I'm farsighted. What do you do to me? What what, what do you walk me through to uh, uh, diagnose the problem and then to have me walking out with the start of better vision? Well, it's usually pretty straightforward. We bring you in for a regular eye examination, which uh, we always like to check and make sure everything's healthy anyway, which is a, a, a good thing to do at least every couple of years, hopefully every year once you get to be 40 or so. And uh, then we uh, will, uh, you, you might be familiar with the, the box, which is better, one or two. We're checking lenses to see if we can improve your vision. Right. Um, anything that we can do there, we, we will write a prescription for that's helpful. And uh, and then include in that a, a part of a prescription that'll give you better vision up close, too. Um, it's uh, And there's some experimentation there. Usually we'll put a trial frame on your face and put some lenses in there and see how well you can read up close. A lot of it's just working distance ranges. If you uh, like to read up close, if you like to read further away, you're tall, you have long arms, you'll, you'll end up with different powers in your glasses. And that's true in over-the-counter readers as well as uh, prescription glasses. Now, someone who's in their mid forties, yeah. and you know, we're talking about presbyopia, and can can you actually fix that nearsightedness, that farsightedness, once and for all, and get me back to twenty twenty vision? Or once I reach a certain plateau, vision isn't going to be quite the way it was when I was a kid. Well, as far as using glasses go, we can usually give you 
exactly as good vision as you ever had before, but of course with glasses or right. with some kind of device. Right, absolutely. And glasses versus uh, contact lenses, that's really just a matter of vanity, correct? Well, uh, contact lenses can give you a tremendously expanded range of working distances, so you can uh, you can see in the distance, you can see up close if you have presbyopia. Um, it's... Uh, it, it's at a cost, though. The sacrifice is that you don't get as good clarity of, of vision. You'll really? You'll um, often end up with some little bit of a double image. You uh, will have a little bit of blur. It's if, you're, if you can tolerate that, if you're okay with it not being a really crisp image, then sometimes contact lenses are a, a great option. Okay, there you go. Dr. Sam from Dr. Sam's Eye Care, 9 Dunning Street in Claremont. They've got the world's best telephone <coughs> number. It's 603-543-2020, 543-2020. And they're right on Dunning Street behind Valley Regional Hospital. And Dr. Sam will be here from time to time. And if you have questions about your eyes, and we'll go through some different things and some of the different services and options that you have available to keep that eye health optimal from Dr. Sam and Dr. Sam's Eye Care in Claremont. Great stuff, Dr. Sam. We'll see you in a couple of weeks.